What's up gamers, GamerDad here. This is a guide to help you complete the week 3 weekly quest, stage 2 of 2, assist in defeating bosses. If you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that button and show me that support, and don't forget to use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop, it is GamerDad. All one word, all capital letters, I greatly appreciate your support. So for this challenge you need to assist in defeating three bosses. Bosses can be found at these three locations here where there's major vaults. Those are some of Thorn's strongholds. You can also find bosses at Mega City and Slappy Shores. And finally, there's also a boss at Rumble Ruins. Now, the three strongholds that are at the top there with those va main vaults marked, Relentless and Sanguine Suites, etc., those three are going to be the hardest locations to go. One of the easiest things, in my opinion, for defeating bosses is at the Forecast Towers. So at these Forecast Towers, around the 50 player mark, you can see the countdown's going down now. If you get here and it says Awaiting Forecast, you have to wait. Once it says Acquiring Forecast, it will count to 100%. And then one boss and two low card guards will spawn right around here. Not directly right there, but you'll hear it and you can look around um, for the little portal that'll appear right there. And then out of this portal will be a boss and two low card guards. So when it says assist, it simply means that if you shoot one of the boss, not the guards, if you shoot the boss once and run away, as long as somebody else eliminates the boss, you will get credit. So if you're not good at defeating the bosses, try that tactic out. Literally, hit this boss right here. You can tell because he's wearing a white and black suit, unlike these guards here. If you hit him once and run away, you can kind of watch and make sure someone else eliminates them. If someone else doesn't, you could wait for the storm to take them out, and then the storm, that should also count for you, but I didn't test that out myself. I prefer just to defeat the boss myself, so as long as you defeat the boss yourself, it worked for me every time. The only time this didn't work for me was at Rumble Ruins. I don't know why it didn't work the one time, but as you can see, I eliminated this person all by myself, and... Um, I got credit for it. Try using a business turret as well. That can be very effective for taking out the boss and guards if you're not as experienced or not as, you know, well-versed at completing this challenge. But this is a regular thing I do in the matches. Now, again, you could go to Eclipse Estate, Relentless Retreat, but those buildings are full of so many guards. Forget about it, unless you really love the challenge. Yeah, the vaults are better there, but who cares? For this challenge in particular, and to get my second and third, I'm now going to land in a separate match at Slappy Shores. Now, Slappy Shores has one of the easiest bosses to find and then the easiest vault to get to as well. So I'm landing over here just outside of Slappy Shores. In this case, I'm going to loot up just so I have some ammo and weapons that I can defeat the bosses with as well, or boss, I should say, as well as some shields. So I'm going to loot these three chests. Then I'm coming over here. As you can see, I've got an epic combat SMG. I've got another combat SMG. And to be honest, those alone are all I need. Even 90 bullets is plenty. So I don't want to waste bullets or time on the low card guards. So come into this area here. This is where you're going to find the boss um, right around here. So come in, engage one of the low card guards, take them out like that. Even letting the camera see you will make sure that the boss comes after you. And so at this point, I'm just looking around for the boss. There's the boss there. He's coming behind the other low card guard. Again, hit him once or hit them once and you could bail. And just as long as they get killed, you'll get credit for the assist. However, I recommend just eliminating them yourself. Especially with an SMG up close, the guard is this boss, or aka the dealer, is super easy. And then you get the vault card, and you get the gold, and you get his gold or legendary twin mag assault rifle. Here's the vault at Slappy, it's super easy to get to. Go in there, loot the heck out of the place. If you have a business tour it, always set it up outside of a, a vault in case someone comes. Now I took the rocket ram and I went just south of Slappy Shores. I'm going to do the forecast tower technique again. So I like this because Slappy Shores, aka the boss over at Slappy Shores, is super close to here. Here's where the forecast tower is, and here's the Slappy Shores boss that we just took out. So it's like, with the rocket ram, it's like a, a super quick uh, travel, uh, short travel from there. So you can see it says a waiting forecast, so not quite ready yet. I'm going to loot out this house, come back. I've built myself just a little thing to stand on to protect myself while I raid, raid around, just in case players come. And I'm also going to take my first few shots at the boss. And again, you could do the same thing. You could just hit the boss once and wait for the storm to take them out, wait for another player to take them out. But I highly recommend you just eliminate the boss yourself. And so they're going to spawn in a moment. They're coming out of there. I'm going to hit some shots with the thermal DMR. And then I'm going to use the combat SMG uh, to finish the boss and the guards off. And then my challenge will be complete. So I do hope that this guide is helpful for you. 
please drop a like, leave me a comment, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do hit that button and show me that support, and don't forget to use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop, it is GamerDad, all one word, all capital letters. Thanks so much for your support, good luck with your challenge, and until the next video, this is GamerDad!